bunch of scouts came out, uh, it was either yesterday or today, uh, and they might be downplaying this because uh, Deshaun, uh, scouts tend to lie every once in a while because they want teams to think they're not going to draft somebody or they are going to draft someone when they actually want to do the opposite decision. But a bunch of NFL scouts came out and said that Deshaun Watson is not a first-round quarterback, meaning he's he's probably not franchise quarterback potential. He's at the very most, a second-round quarterback. And again, this could be a total and complete lie. We've seen Deshaun Watson and what he's done in big games in college football, and all he's done is step up. All he's done is make plays at the right time and be efficient. Now, he's not the he doesn't have the most size. He's mobile, but he's not the fastest quarterback in the world. He doesn't have the strongest arm, uh, but he's accurate. And his decision-making, for the most part, is good. And when he has bad games, it's bad games that nobody's really actually watching. He's always stepped up on those college football playoff games. And uh, he nearly beat Alabama last year, and we all saw when Watson put the team behind his back this season. Now, everyone in the NFL is always, whenever there's a quarterback coming into the league, they're looking for a prototype. And it's strange because these prototypes are almost always proven wrong. Nobody expected Russell Wilson to be the kind of quarterback he ended up becoming because there hadn't been a quarterback like that that ever existed. You know, everyone... uh, and And it's also strange because people tend to divide quarterbacks among racial lines. Like, if he's a black quarterback, he's probably more mobile than a white quarterback. And it just doesn't work out. There's so many variables going in that you can't really determine who's going to be a great quarterback and who isn't. Everyone whiffed on Dak Prescott for, uh, what was he driving in the second or third round? I think the third round. And uh, Prescott ended up turning into a superstar. Now, had he not been behind a great offensive line and have Ezekiel Elliott there and the receivers Dallas does, if he was put on Cleveland, I don't think it would be the same thing. But I think if there's a case, as we learned from uh, from uh, Dak Prescott this past season, that efficiency is what's most important. And we've learned this many, we learned this many, many years ago from Tom Brady. Teams that depend on physical measurements and athleticism alone and NFL scouting combine grades, those teams tend to fail. And what, what often NFL teams overlook, they want, they want players that bedazzle. You know, Jared Goff. He's never proven a damn thing in his life, but man, that guy has an arm, and he can throw in the pocket, so therefore, he's going to be an NFL star, first overall. Now, it's too early to tell on Jared Goff. I like Carson Wentz. I think that was probably a good pick, but nobody realized Dak Prescott would be the player he was, but but a lot of it is because of his size and because of his arm strength. Very similar to the criticism going around about Deshaun Watson right now. There are so many NFL teams that need a good quarterback right now. And it there is no position in professional sports more important than the quarterback position. Obviously. No, it's not even close. And... I, if, if I'm the Cleveland Browns, or I'm the San Francisco 49ers, or I'm the Jaguars, one of these teams, I would think seriously about Deshaun Watson. Right? And, you know, there, if, if I'm going to, if, if you're going to need to build a franchise right now, now if you want to win right away, you bring in Tony Romo. But if you want to rebuild, or, or you could bring in Jimmy Garoppolo, but Garoppolo could be could win right away and also be a rebuilding quarterback. But you need to surround Jimmy G with the right parts. Deshaun Watson, obviously, it's going to take a few years, we think. But we, as we saw with Dak Prescott, there's no prototype going into the NFL that you can accurately predict. Every Jared Goff was a failure this in his first season. Now, it's too early to judge on him. Ask me in a year or two. But Jameis Winston, he had an okay rookie year. He improved his sophomore year. Marcus Mariota had a better rookie year, and he improved in his sophomore season. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for consistent production and consistent improvement. And in college, we've seen that from Deshaun Watson. And then when we've seen, what we've also seen from Watson is when it matters most, 
He is the guy that gets it done almost every time. And on the national stage, he has been a consistent, efficient, productive player, and that means a lot. Now, he hasn't played in many cold-weather cities, so I'm not sure how well he'll do in those environments, and he played at Clemson, obviously, but this idea that Deshaun Watson, again, it's very hard to predict who's going to be a great quarterback in the NFL, but to say Deshaun Watson is not a franchise quarterback because of his size and his arm strength, how many times has that argument been proven wrong? Look at Tom Brady. Go watch his combine highlights. He looks, he looks like an insurance salesman. All right. Now look at what he's done. Brady's never had great arm strength. And yes, he's tall, but he's not, he is so far from athletic. So far from athletic. It's amazing how much we overvalue certain parts of the quarterback position when really all you need is an accurate passer that can throw short to medium passes and occasionally throw it downfield. All right. Dak Prescott doesn't have a strong arm. Tom Brady, his arm is underrated, but he's never been known as a Hail Mary quarterback. We need to stop with this size and arm strength bullshit. Look at what Russell Wilson has managed to do. Look at his college stats, all right? It's amazing he fell as far as he fell in the NFL draft. I think Deshaun Watson is a worthy gamble, especially with all these teams that need franchise NFL quarterbacks. (laughs) 